Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you for joining me. I watched a real funny cartoon. Yes, I said a cartoon. An animated show. Harley Quinn. This show is hilarious. It is irreverent. It is adult for sure. And a breath of fresh air when you look at the animated superhero world. I... We'll say right off the top, no spoilers, no plot reveals, except you got to watch the show. It is, if a curse word became an animation, that would be the show. It's got blood, gore, adult language. I kind of fit it in as like South Park and Archer. By the way, Archer is a great show. It's got great writing. Everything works on the show. It's funny. I would say if I'm going to give the show any nitpicks, it would be, I got used to the Harley Quinn from the TV show, The Voice, and I really like um, the actress who plays in The Birds of Prey, I'm not sure the name, Margot Robbie, maybe, and she seems to capture the animated show. So this is a different voice actress. But it works. It's just a tiny little thing that you notice in the beginning. And maybe that it's, you know, it's DC animation. They still keep the same look in a way, although they design things a little differently. And that's it. Two minor slight things that, um, that came to me as I'm watching it. But it doesn't matter. The show is great. It's been renewed for a second season. I can't wait. The first season is 13 episodes. And it is hilarious. They do play with the characters, though. If you're expecting a character from the comic books to act exactly like they do in the comics or even the movies, you might be surprised. There's going to be... A f uh, they flip on a lot of stuff. They just go for the jokes and the um, zaniness of it. And it works, but you're going to notice, oh, that's not Bane or Scarecrow and etc. I would say that the Joker does seem to be based off Mark Hamill's Joker, because it's not the same voice. I think it's Alan Tudyk. He does several of the voices, and he's a good actor. I like him. And he seems to be impersonating the Joker that I love from the animated show, which was one of the best animated shows ever, a Batman the Animated Series. I'm a big superhero fan, and I think DC beat Marvel to the punch, because this is probably what they would have done with Deadpool. F-bombs all the time, really insane subject matter, and it pushes it to the limit, especially for this kind of genre. You don't expect it. And even if you were thinking of the Suicide Squad or more adult renditions in the comic books, this takes it to another level, I think. And I think it's one that everybody's going to love. It is not for kids or children. It is adult. <laughs> and I haven't had this much fun with an animated show in a long time. I'm going to say DC has the uh, advantage here in animation. I'm a big fan. I usually don't take sides in the DC Marvel or even the Image Comics and other things. But I think DC has always been the leader in animation. I would like them to try a little bit different animation style. And they do that on their... I don't know. Um, they, they make animated movies... Most of them are always fucking Batman. And once in a while, they'll stray from the uh, artwork that they've been using for, it seems like, 20, 30 years. But it doesn't matter. It works for this show. I I had so much fun. I'm going to anticipate the second season. 
This reminds me of when I first started listening to Archer. It's just refreshing to see um, them taking a superhero concept and just not giving a shit. Because I could see executives like, you can't have Batman say that. All right. What if Harley Quinn says it to Batman? Oh, okay, sure. So you'll hear Harley Quinn say, you know, you want to fuck bats. And it's just hilarious. And there's a couple of twists they do with the characters that come out of nowhere. You don't expect it because you're so used to who that character is. But it doesn't matter. Just great time from start to finish. And it actually keeps a storyline. It's an animated show, like I said, with 13 episodes. But they follow a theme and a a storyline that goes through every episode. And they were able to capture the chemistry of the actors. Like, I get that from Archer, too. When I watch Archer, the Comic-Con panels, and I don't know how many seasons there are now. Five or seven. Um, I think I ended in the middle of five. I haven't caught up. But you can see when they're on the panels how much fun they have, how much they like each other, or how good they are at pretending. This show has that feel. It feels like everybody's having fun. And I I would say that they're surprised when they look at the scripts and they're able to get away with what they get away with. So props to DC Universe. To, I guess it's their streaming service. Because this would be something you promote. This is what you use to get people, especially because it's for adults. Um, it's new and it's uh, refreshing. Just watch it. You're going to laugh your ass off. Don't have your kids around. You'll see some zany twists on the characters, the plots and the stories. They can do anything with animation, so you get it. And you'll see the background characters. They might not be big players in it, but they're there. The concepts of Harley Quinn, the Joker, and her place in the villain community i guess it's just great watch harley quinn the animated show now